gone to grad school and I had a shit ton of student loan debt. And so I started camming in the afternoons after my day job. And someone came in my camera and they're like, listen, there's this new reality show. It's called The Sex Factor. It's to find the next big porn star. But they're going to have a bunch of porn stars on it. And they're going to teach you how to do this adult business. And I was like, fuck yes. I want to go. I want to learn the things. I want the cheat codes of like who to work with, what not to do. Like I want all the education. So I signed up for this like crazy reality show. Um, I guess the f- the first round of filming I met you. Mm. Maybe it was the second round of filming. I don't know. Met you. You came in and you did a photo shoot for us. Right. Yeah. And I won the photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Um, It was for Hustler. And so then we went back and shot another one, the next round of filming. And then it was pretty great. I I really um, appreciated the advice that you had given me. You showed me how to find my light and how to hold my body and how to point my toes and my angles and all those things. And that was incredibly helpful to me going forward. Um, the, the show was a complete and utter shit show. It was, it, I mean, it was just it really from, was. S- from start to finish. It was just a joke. Nothing. I mean, it was a scam. None of the, the money wasn't real. Like nothing that they told us was real. Yeah. However, I met you and you taught me all the things and I got to skip through, you know, the gonzo porn or all the weird shit. And I got to go straight to glamour porn and work with people that were doing the best stuff. So yeah. I'm really thankful and, and very happy for that. Yeah. I mean, you definitely had a different introduction to the adult industry for sure sure. than most people do yeah and then I was also older I was like 29 coming into this I was all natural I wasn't really experienced like I had had sex with four men at this time like sex business I knew nothing I just I had worked for Playboy before I knew I was cute I knew that men could talk to me easily um, and I knew I could make money off of this. Yeah. Yeah. Because immediately when I started camming, I was making more than I was doing that I had gone to school for eight years for. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, the money's here. This is this is my solution to getting out of debt, to supporting my family, to having a, a future that I wanted. Um, it just so happens that there's a lot of loopholes and shit you got to <laughs> jump through. I, I had no idea. When I started this, I was like, I'm going to sell my titty pics. And I had no idea that I was going to you know, have to know all of these things and be cast out of all these systems. I had no idea that the financial discrimination in this business was so rampant. Yeah. And we're definitely going to get to that because that's such a big part of our conversation today. But I just want to get a little bit more into like your initial introduction into the adult industry. So people always want to hear about the first scene, right? Because that feels like such a pivotal moment in your life. Like this is the first time that you're having sex on camera in front of a bunch of strangers with someone that you probably don't know all that well. Take us through that experience. It was for the show. And I remember um, I had no idea of like the racism in the industry to where it was like, oh, we're going to film a BBC. So I it was it was another black contestant and they were like, okay, who's going to film with him? And I was like, I'll film with him, whatever. I had no idea that like people held out for that or Mm -hmm. they wanted their particular scene to be labeled as this. Mm -hmm. Like I had no idea. I was just like, I'll shoot with this guy like he's great. So I I started to shoot a scene with him and he was incredibly nervous. Like there was no like consent talks. There were no like this is how you shoot a scene. There was nothing that there, there was no. Primer because he was anything. one of the contestants. He was too, one of the right? contestants. I mean, they literally opened the door to the hotel room and they were like, "We're going to turn the cameras on." And so, you know, he was a young guy. I was much older at the time, and it was just like, "Okay, we're going to shoot this scene." I had no idea how to do anything, how to, how, you know, position yourself for lighting or anything. And he was so nervous that he couldn't get it up. Of course, so which was, is so normal. By the so way, normal. I don't say like "of course" in the sense yeah. of like, <laughs> you know what I mean, like right. stupid guy, but like right. I mean, that <laughs> that is a recipe for fucking disaster for me. I remember, you know, like hearing that that's how the scenes were going to go. And in fact, like I experienced the same thing when, you know, I did my Playboy TV show because it was amateur couples. At least the people knew each other and were a couple together. But it was like two people who've never had sex on camera before having it together for the first time. And it's just like, it's always like... Yeah, I mean, because it takes time to learn. I it know takes that- time to learn. And plus, there's a whole bunch of people in this room with you. Yeah. So it's not like you're just turning on your phone or whatever. There's, you know, there's a sound guy and a camera guy and the whole bunch of people are in there watching you do these things while lighting you 
tried to have this experience with a stranger that you just met. Yeah. Um, so he was very nervous. And I remember like going into the bathroom and he was crying. And I was like, this is not how, all- oh, 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 it was terrible. And I was like, should I blow him to get him harder? Or while should I just While he's crying. While he's crying. Should I like talk him out of this? And he was just like, you know, I don't know how my mom's going to feel. I mean, it was, just, he was going through the whole thing. This, I'm trying to film this scene, by the way. So we're in, in the bathroom and I remember just like looking up to God being like, is this, is this really how this is going to go? Like, is this my indoctrination to the adult industry? Oh, yeah. So that was a mess. Yeah, this was my first scene. So nothing ever happened, obviously. Um, I think we got about three minutes worth of content, which I know they had to, like, repeat a bunch of content just to get the – from two cameras just to get the footage. Like, just absolute Wait, fucking disaster. Wait, so – okay, so hold <laughs> – Sorry, sorry. I don't, and I don't mean to laugh because it's like this poor guy. Like I can only yeah. imagine, and I've seen this happen many times. It's such a humiliating experience. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a you know crazy experience for most people the first time, anyways. And so when you're not able to perform, and it sounds to me like there wasn't a lot of like good direction. Oh, there there's wasn't not like strong Zero. leadership no, there. Nothing. Like you need somebody who's in charge to like help guide you through these strange yeah. waters. Yeah, none of that, none of that happened. I remember just being like in the bathroom being like, is this how my, the course of my career is gonna go? Yeah. Because if this is how I learn, and this is what I'm supposed to be learning. Is this what this is like? Like, yeah. I had no idea this was just a shit show and this is not how the industry works. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Because it was also like a show that was being run by a bunch of people who were not in the adult industry. They were not in the adult industry. No, they were a production company and they yeah. didn't even put their name on it because it was so bad. Embarrassing to them. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.